good morning guys right um a couple of trades on here uh cable this morning i had a bit of a lay-in didn't get up for the pre-frankfurt or the frankfurt open um <clears throat> excuse me um busy all weekend watching eth usd uh let's bring that chart up actually because uh if i can find it <clears throat> Uh, and it's proving difficult to find. Ah, <coughs> oh, there it is. Open, open, sesame. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I can clearly see, um, watching this morning's stuff, that this is perfectly tradable. Uh, <coughs> Apologies, I should have done this before. Um, yeah, I mean, there was a trade there, clearly. Uh, bust up, pull back, break and close. Um, and that would have been a probably a 15, 20 pip trade, I should think. There it is there. Uh, 28 pips. It's uh, just attacked the hourly 8 EMA. <clears throat> the EMA is probably thrown off with this uh, particular chart because this is a um, uh, chart that only doesn't do the weekends. So I haven't studied this enough to see what uh, state the um, demo account uh, chart would look like. But um, low, high, high, low, high, high, pull back, continuation. So, <clears throat> and, um, you know, I did look at it on the demo account, but... Uh, uh, it seems to follow uh, the rules perfectly. There was a perfectly good short trade there. Yeah, we're still on the seventh, so it's still um, it's uh, got some data. I don't know whether they've put the put, put the actual live data back into the chart. That would be something worth looking into. But uh, yeah, perfectly good trade there. Uh, trend broken by a small trend here. High, low, 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 low. Three can stuff. So that's um, uh, <coughs> which is. Uh, and day you should have. Uh, cable took a long as well. That was more to the um, somehow my oh I've probably got uh, that account open in my machine down that's why. Uh, I've got a bit um, <coughs> of a uh, lag on this chart and mouse. So long trade. Now the long trade um, I didn't wait for a confirmation but what I used was um, applied the logic and that's why I'm actually just showing it on here of the big you know overextended oversold whatever you want to call it then the big gap between the um, the red and the new bar which suggests um, you know big momentum we've talked about this many many times similar to this situation here oversold not like that one notice that's the difference over um, sold but not a big momentum move oversold massive momentum move difference between the green and red hopefully that is clear and that's what uh, we can see there you don't enter on the strength of that you use the lower time frames so you know um, and the higher time frames to judge what's going on so as you can see there was a f sort of move there but notice there was no oversold situation and the 30 minute here you know that's the these are the the babies you want to see you really want to get involved with so again you've got thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of hours of charts to study this stuff back test it do your own uh, research on three crack candle reversals and the um and the rsi histo it works you know it just works that's all there is to it so i suggest you get uh, get knuckled down to studying your charts so uh, clearly see we've got um, uh, divergence here as well we know you know you have to stack up all the knowns known variables if you like we know divergence works we know the price moves drastically on this uh, 15 minute uh, London open period we know often it is a um, what do we want to call it a uh, pump and dump scenario I've seen it so many times um, you know, you just have to do your screen time homework, uh, and uh, you've got all the necessary um, equipment at your uh, at your 
beck and call nowadays you know fantastic indicators fantastic charting software <clears throat> and uh, all you have to do is um, apply patience discipline and uh, you're good to go so clearly uh, bust down we had a five minute reversal here um, I put the 15 minute um, uh, resistance from the left hand side in because I know resistance will always get tested as support and as you can see it bounced on that 15 minute level I'll show you the 15 minute chart there's a 15 minute resistance level there and uh, there's the bounce you know the close of one candle and the open of another on that resistance now you know uh, what can I say really that's what price does <coughs> excuse me so uh, two trades two winners uh, 15 pips in total thanks for watching have a good day